Hey, good morning. <clears throat> Happy President's Day for the Americans. Hopefully you get a new one. Um, uh, yesterday, <clears throat> uh, Lily and I went out for lunch. Went to... What was the name of the place? Let me look it up. I said it the wrong name last time. But it takes a second in Google to see where I went. I should probably tell them my credit card expenditures. Well, I can't. It's over the amount. <clears throat> Actually, but I can tell you. It's right here. La, 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 la. Where did I? Oh, it was Earl's. <clears throat> we have an Earl's in Poco. It's actually not too bad. Um, I went for the ribs, uh, the full. Um, it was good. The I didn't mind the uh, the ribs were actually not too salty. They fell off the bones. They were good. Um, came with a potato salad of bacon, which will make any like guy think good. Uh, did not care for the the crappy <clears throat> little salad on the side. If they actually had put in. A nice mixed green with the vinaigrette it would have it would have just topped it off i would say that meal was an eight out of ten you could have done just that salad change would have made it way better <clears throat> like i said the ribs were probably the best i've had in a long time uh better than the other place i normally go to uh the potato stuff was pretty good but i you know probably me i would have preferred like a a baked potato there would have <clears throat> made it nicer but anyways the ribs were good and then Lily had this <clears throat> fake Asian uh, dish with uh, salmon. The salmon wasn't bad. I gave her I gave her some of the ribs I had because I don't need that many. And uh, the rice was done like <clears throat> how do we say it? Almost like a salad, <clears throat> cold with a lot of salt and all that stuff in it. Uh, but I did talk to one of the people there. <clears throat> Next time we go there, because it's actually not a bad place. It's actually quite nice. It's looks nice in there it's a bit classy um put it this way the amount of money i spent there is the same i go to han so i might as well go somewhere nice where you at least enjoy the uh, one thing that we'll do next time is you could uh, for lily we'll probably order two lobster tails uh with probably prawns and then a hot bowl of rice <clears throat> with maybe a side of vegetables and, and they can do that they've already, I've already talked to them they said yeah it's not a problem we can do that easily and that would probably be really good for her. <clears throat> and I will try something different. I may go back to the old burgers that we used to do when I was in the office when we went to Earl's. Because um, normally we're not steak people in the office. We go burgers because it's more economical. It's like 20 bucks a person then. So reasonable. Because uh, we went to steak. I went to ribs and Lily went something else. We got up to 60. So <clears throat> that's okay. It's a date anyway. So it's not a, a big rush. Then we came home, uh, driving down my street, turned down where I live, and some guy's tailgating me. We have a four-way stop. I stop properly, drive through. <clears throat> the idiot just drives right behind me. He doesn't look, doesn't stop, you know, breaking every rule in town. And as I get to my house, I signal and I turn. And then he parks behind me. It's like, oh, I, I prevented him from speeding up. So I walk out of the car and I wearing my hat. Now, I'm a little guy. I'm only six foot five. <clears throat> he looks at me and goes, oh, shit, and drives away. <laughs> Couldn't handle a big guy. You know, a little runt in a Mercedes or BMW. I think it was a Mercedes. You know, I really wonder with Mercedes people. You think you're hot, but you're not. <clears throat> and the worst part about a lot of Mercedes guys, I'm going to pick on them because they deserve it. A lot of them have these beautiful cars. Don't know what the hell they do. They love the logo because they think they're a big man. And if I talk to you, you probably have the smallest fucking engine in the car. You probably have full automatic. <clears throat> if you have a Tektronic or something like it, you don't know how to use it. Um, and the reason I comment on that, I see so many guys driving these cars. And that was a white guy, too. <clears throat> so I see so many guys driving Mercedes or women driving Mercedes or BMW. And I had one of <clears throat> Lily's acquaintances. He lives on top of the mountain in Coquitlam, and he goes, well, I'm Mercedes. He's got a Mercedes four-wheel drive. And if you know what you're doing, that car will have no problem driving up the shit there. <clears throat> and he's worried about it. And I'm thinking, my God, I'm being nice to him. Say, yeah, it should be no problem as long as you know how to put it four-wheel drive. And I think it's all-wheel drive, so it should just work. But I just, 
want to shake my head when I see people with these cars when they don't know what the hell they've got. Um, I've had a, a surprise. Like I think one of my coworkers, he's got a, a Mercedes, and he actually knows what it's got in. And he's actually got a diesel engine, which is a beautiful vehicle. <clears throat> I'll give him credit for that. That's a nice car. Uh, but he knows what he got, and he saved up for it, and he knows what he bought. Uh, and then I know other guys who buy Mercedes because of the label. It's like, got to have the best label. Uh, and uh, my friend actually bought his. I know a lot of people lease them because they like to have the most current year. I got to have the blue one this year. I got to have the white one this year because everyone else does. It's like, my God. <clears throat> With me, with my cars, first one was a beat-up rabbit, 1979. Got it for 500 bucks. Uh, built it up, four-door, <clears throat> 1.6 liter engine. Put a big throat throttle body, headers on it, one-inch sway bars, polyurethane bushings, gas shocks. It was a four-door. Put Riken rims on it, and very expensive Alpine system. More than once because it keeps getting stolen. Uh, that was my first car. <clears throat> Second car when I joined the bank, bought a Mazda 2600 long box. <coughs> Did me well till the clutch went, and I just need to replace the clutch and the CV boots, and it'll probably work perfectly again. <clears throat> Good truck, uh, but I parked it for now. Uh, don't have, don't really need to get that working. Then the next car we bought was a Toyota Sienna. <clears throat> it did its job, but I'll be honest with you, I never buy a fucking Toyota again. Um, it did well. I just hate Toyotas. Uh, they're absolutely plain boring. Um, the looks of them are shit. <clears throat> you know, they'll last forever, the Siennas. Uh, you just got to change things like wheel bearings, which is not a big issue. Don't get the electrics. Make sure you got manual lines. That, that'll that last forever. They'll never die. If you get the electrics, probably around the eighth year you have it, the windows stop working. Um, the only issue I had and the reason it's parked is I got to re replace the radiator. I have the new radiator. I just don't have the time to do it, but I also have to change the thermostat. The thermostat's in a stupid spot, <clears throat> but still, you know, when we get to a month or two from now, like I said, I've got all the parts, uh, just even the hoses. Uh, what we'll do is when it warms up a little bit and the driveway's clear and it's, it's like say 18 degrees or 16 degrees. Then I'll replace it. We'll fill it up. We'll check it, change the oil, get all that stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll sell it. <clears throat> Some general contractor will buy it, beat it into the ground for two more years. It's got brand new bearings on it. Uh, the engine runs well. Um, so it's a good vehicle. It's just Lily got scared on it twice because she's had the battery go on her once and old cars you replace batteries every three to four years and on a and the radiator you don't know when they go they blow up when they want to uh <clears throat> that car did well uh blew up last year the radiator and it's uh 1998 it was last year so it did pretty damn good <clears throat> better than my uh, mazda pickup truck i've gone through like three radiators on that damn thing didn't blow up it just overheats because things get screwed up well, now i know what they get screwed up for i'm just gonna put the right coolant in don't put the green shit in your car. you got to know the coolant for your vehicle. And <clears throat> I found like on the Jeep, there's only, you got to make sure you got the, uh, there's a certain type, but in my case, it's the orange and the new one is purple, but don't trust the color. You got to make sure the right code because the coloring doesn't always line up, but in general it does, but it doesn't always. Um, but if you do change the coolant on uh, the Chrysler's from the old to the new, you better flush the system out totally. Then put the new one in, and then you're good. <clears throat> but you can't mix it. You mix it, it'll fuck up your engine big time. Um, don't put the green stuff in ever on most new cars. It's garbage. <clears throat> it's not the right stuff. Uh, the engine's based on the st stuff that you do. If you're talking an old Chevy um, with a cast thing and whatever, yeah, that shit will work. But if you're talking new cars with very with aluminum alloys and all that, That'll corrode and cause trouble, so don't. <clears throat> okay, then what do we got now? <clears throat> I got my Jeep, uh, 2008. Beat the crap out of it. Uh, it does pretty good. It's got some issues uh, working on them slowly, but nothing major. Got to fix my park brake. I got to adjust it. It's a pain in the ass. I go through brake pads quite a bit. Now, 
I think I have in the back the USB semi metallic. I think now I have a hybrid in between ceramic and semi metallic <clears throat> in the back. It's better. And what I have in the front, I think those are ceramic right now, but I'm not sure. But there's a new brake pad. I got spares in the back of the car. I've got front and rear spares. <clears throat> Always the spares for those that car. Um, not that I don't need them. I just like having them there so I can do work on the car when I want to do work on the car. Uh, so I have that. I've got brand new spark plugs, water pump, everything. All the parts he generated place. I bought them and then oh, it's not a problem right now, so I'm not going to replace it. So I've got <clears throat> a lot of the parts, but if it does break down, I'm ready to fix. Um, the Jetta, uh, that's Lily's car. It's new. I'm not doing anything except helping her take it to the dealer, do oil changes. Uh, what I like about it is the small little turbo engine. It's fast as hell, easy to work on. It doesn't have all that plastic shit on top of the engine. They've gone old school, which is good. That <clears throat> means it's fixable. Um, that's, that's an improvement on that car. But also, I like the Jeep because it's very fixable, too. It's a very work, you know, you can work on it. And the funny thing is a lot of guys, it's a JKL. Um, and for the first, I think, four years, maybe, or five <clears throat> of that model, they had the uh, minivan engine, which is actually not bad. Uh, the new engine is supposed to be better. But I'll be honest with you, when I look at you want to change the serpentine belts on the first one, you just take a crescent wrench, Lean, loosen the tensioner, take the belt off, put the new one on, and loosen the tensioner, tighten up again, boom, you're done. It's a two-second job. <clears throat> Not on the newer one. And I bet you the engine after that. And the newer one did have a lot of issues. Uh, for example, it had a problem with uh, sand in the block. So the engines would die and the heater would die. But the old ones were dependable. Uh, 2008, I think, is a good year. Only thing I need is... Uh, Probably new seat on my side because I wear the crap out of it. <laughs> so I'll probably go to a wrecker and pick one up. Probably do it in the summer. <clears throat> Maybe upgrade myself to something better than what came with it. Maybe only the passenger. Who knows? Maybe the both pass. Maybe the passenger and the driver's seat. Who knows? We'll see what we'll do. <clears throat> we'll do something. Uh, I think that's it today. Going to do a photo shoot today. Don't really want to do it. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, someone's bugging me to do it, so we'll do it. Um, hasta la vista. See ya. Have a good day.